Okay, what we have left is a footer section and a couple of media queries. So let's type the CSS for the footer. Class of footer. Display flex. Justify content flex end. Align items flex end. Background color of light gray. Padding of 1M. So we get the footer information down here. And then we target the, again, the footer. Here, and then we have the footer address. So the footer will remain here. The footer address we're going to target next. Footer address. Tell that to text align center. So we get the footer address here, and we get the other part of the footer in the lower right. So that's all that's needed for the footer. Now we're going to write a media query. So this media query looks like such. When you break 600 pixels, the maximum width of 600 pixels, so basically smaller than 600 pixels, telling the header to wrap, we're going to target the search form and move it after the other elements. I'm going to target the logo and I believe that makes it smaller. text grow a little bit faster and we're going to shrink the we're going to shrink the uh, width and the height of the two other images So again, that's really changing the header when you go below a certain width. Let's see if we can catch that behavior. So you notice here it took the search and it dropped it below. And that deals with the order and we tell it to wrap so that wrap gets the search text box to go beneath on the next row and then we tell the order of one means to come after all the positions of zero and very slight difference in the size of those images if you pay close attention you see those images going from a little bit bigger to a little bit smaller so that's 
what our first media query does. And the second media query, this one's for even smaller, max width of 400 pixels. You have to be on a real small device. Nav bar menu. So it changes the nav bar menu to be a column, not typo, column. And our nav bar item the menu underneath the items let's see if I can demonstrate this again max width of 400 pixels is pretty small let's see if I can inspect maybe with a small phone there it goes with this small phone you could see that our nav bar goes to a column layout instead of a row layout okay that's the end of our flexbox website so close it down Put this on YouTube.